Hello and welcome to this video. This is the fifth installment in uh, Linux Mint uh, version 18. Uh, I wanted to go over today about um, how to use some of your office uh, production software and how to make it compatible with your Microsoft um, Microsoft Office uh, products. So, to go ahead and begin, if you want to, let's say as an example, you want to uh, write a document for work or for as a memo or what have you, um, what you would use is LibreOffice, and that's um, that's a free uh, that's a free open source um, Office suite, and how you get to it you would just go down to the menu button left click on the menu button okay and then go to office and then from office you would go to your um, Libre office equivalent let's say for this example you want to write a document you would choose Libre office writer and then that would open up and then if you're used to Microsoft Office Word this is basically the same thing you just go ahead and write whatever or type whatever you want to, you know. I'm just typing something random as an example. And then if you come up to the top here, you see you have your menu bar. Then you have under that your, your tool bar. And then all of your other stuff, you know, for manipulating your, your document. All right. Now. I've had several people say, especially family members, they say, hey, um, we can't use LibreOffice because, um, um, you know, maybe at work or maybe at school they say, you have to use Microsoft products. You can't use um, an equivalent or you can't use an open source uh, free equivalent. Well. I've been using uh, LibreOffice ever since it came out, and then before that, I was using OpenOffice, and it's always been compatible with Microsoft Office as far as I'm concerned. You just need to make sure that when you save this document, you save it to the Microsoft equivalent, and I'll show you how to do that now. You just go up to the top. You want to save it. You just left-click on File, all right, and then you come down. You'll see the menu here, and the first, if this is the first time you save in your document, you want to choose Save As. Okay, you left click on Save As, another menu will come up. Okay, and then you choose where you want to save it. I normally tell people either the desktop or the documents folder, one or the two. For this one, let's just save it on the desktop, and then you go ahead and give it a name. We'll just name this one example. Okay. And then you want to come down here, see where it says all formats. You want to left click on all formats. This is where you can save it to the Microsoft equivalent. Now, this is the year 2018, uh, 2017, uh, June 29th. Okay. So you want to save this to the most equivalent document there is. Usually, if you save it to this type of a document which ends with a dot doc x, that will be equivalent to anything between 2007, 2013, and yes, it should even save the equivalent to 2016. All right? For Microsoft Word. You just left click that, choose that, and then just click on save okay and is if you as you can see up at the title bar you have your name and you have your extension which is dot doc x okay and then you can go ahead and close it and you'll see your document we saved it to our desktop that's our document right there all right and then if you want to open it again you just double click on it with your left mouse button it comes back up and you can go back and write on it again alright now that your document you've opened up your document again you go ahead and make your changes okay now 
you just added this to your document, whatever it is. Maybe you want it, maybe it's four or five pages and you only did two or three and you want to continue working on it. Now, after this, you want to save it. Uh, if you're going to continue working on your document for however long, 15, 30 minutes, I would suggest saving it every couple of minutes. All right. That way, you know you have at least a minimum copy. Because sometimes, sometimes, especially if you're on a desktop computer, if you have a power outage of some type, it'll go ahead and just close everything out and you'll lose your document. Okay? So I suggest saving your document at least every few minutes. All right? And the way you save it is you just come up here and you'll see the menu button. Okay, see where it says save? You go ahead and click on that, and it'll go ahead and save your most updated uh, information for that document. You can also come up to file, left click on file, go down, and see where it says save a copy. Well, you could choose that if you want to save it to another place, uh, another directory. Or you can come over here and you can click on save, and it'll save that copy. All right, and then you can just go ahead and close out of it. Now, you would do the same thing for any other document, whether it's a Word document or an Excel sheet document or a spreadsheet document. You just come down here again to Menu, go to Office, and the equivalent for uh, Microsoft um, Excel would be Libre Office Calc. You just left click on it it'll open it up and as you can see it has basically the same type of uh, uh, interface or format that Microsoft uh, Excel has and you could just you know again make your you know make your changes do whatever you want to to your document and you would save this the same way except instead of saving it as a Microsoft Word document you would save it as a Microsoft spreadsheet Excel document and you go up to the same place. You just go up to File, left click on File, go to Save As, left click on Save As, choose a place where you want to save it, choose um, Desktop, give it a name, Spreadsheet, come down to All Format. You want to look for the Microsoft Excel equivalent, which, once again, you want to look for, there we go, Microsoft Excel 2007 through 2013. You should also match with 2016. And you want to make sure you got that extension at the end, .xlsx. Left click it, and save, and choose the save button. And as you can see at the top of your title bar, you have your spreadsheet right there. It is saved. And then at that point, you can go ahead and close it. And there's your spreadsheet document right there. You can double click on it, open it up. And like with the Word document, you can just continue working on it. And then once you've worked on it, you can just hit that Save button right there. Or you can go to the File, button, uh, file menu. And then from there, click on Save right there. All right? So... That's all I have for today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for looking at my video and you have a good day.